Okay, something else that I want to do this month is I just want to address a little thing that I've noticed in New York with the guys who are growing beards. Um, if you're doing that chin strap thing, that stubbly chin strap thing, take a picture of yourself from the sides and you'll know if you're doing it right. Most guys are doing it wrong. Um, I asked two of my friends, both of whom who were doing the, ch the chin strap thing, um, why they did, why they were putting their neckline right under their chin. Like if you were to squish your face and you got that extra fold of skin, it's like they're using that as their guideline for where they should put their neckline. And I said, why are you guys putting it there? It should go all the way back to where your neck begins. It shouldn't stop here. And they said, well, we don't want, well, one of them said he didn't want uh, people to think that he had a, a neck beard. Um, so that's why he trimmed the hair that was underneath his, his jaw. And then another guy just said, well, he had never been taught how to shave, and so he was just looking at the other guys and seeing what they were doing, which is probably what um, most people, most, most guys do when it comes to shaving, is they just look at what other, what other folks have done, and um, they just try to do it themselves. The problem is that you're doing it wrong. Um, unless you're really going for a chin strap beard, most guys aren't. They're trying to do this sort of maintained stubble look. But you, in order to do that, I'm, I'm just here to try and set the record straight so that you have had someone tell you this is where you put your neckline with a beard or with any, of, any, of any length. As far as I'm concerned and as far as the general accepted beardiness goes. I mean, I, it's not the end-all be-all. You can do whatever you want, but if you want it to look good, what you got to do is, and this is, I'm a bad example because I'm just letting everything grow and my beard's not, you know, the greatest beard in the world, but whatever. I just got to say this. Um, you got, you've got to trim the hair on your neck, but let it reach, let the stubble reach to where my finger is. Uh, can you even see it? Oh, let me see. Let me get closer. No, maybe. A little bit yeah let it go all the way back don't stop it because then what other what you guys are doing is also you're carving along on top of your jawline it need your hair needs to go under your jaw it defines your jaw and it also by stopping your neckline here instead of here um, that's where my chin is you can't see it you're telling people where your chin ends or where your, where, where your jaw ends rather and where your neck begins that's the point of the neckline it says this is where my my jaw ends and where my neck begins and so when you end it when you shave everything underneath your jaw it looks like you're saying my neck begins here way up way up at the front of my face and especially if you're a heavier guy and you've got a little bit of extra you know we all have that um, if you if you carve if if you shave the hair on your little, on your double chin thing um, and you don't let it go back any, you're really communicating to the world. Look at the double chin that I have, because here's my my chin, my bone, uh, and it's got hair on it. But then right behind it is the skin, and it's bright and glistening and gleaming and hairless. So, I mean, it's up to you. But I just wanted to say this because. I don't. I've seen it everywhere. Every guy is doing who's trying to do this stubble beard thing is doing it this way. I don't know why they're doing it. They haven't had anyone tell them, and they're looking at the other guys on the subway or whatever, and they're just thinking, "Oh, that's how you're supposed to do maintain stubble." But it's really. It looks really, really. It looks bad. It really looks bad. Take a picture of yourself. Take a video of yourself from the side, and you'll see what I mean. It looks like you've got a chin strap of hair going along. It's not going under your jaw. It's going along the edge of your face, and then just circling up under your chin. And it looks really weird. I, I can say it all day long, but um, I don't know. Do whatever you want, but just so you know, you look really weird if you've got a chin strap beard and you're not intending to have one. Um, so yeah, take that.